Eagles rookies are ready to go! You're my dude, King Ding Bang here. So today we have come with the. It's a big ass dog. Dallas still stinks. You're my dude, King Ding Bang here, and. You smell that? Football is in the air! I can smell it! It's coming! The Kansas City Chiefs, their rookies report today! Uh, tomorrow, the Eagles rookies can start to report. This is a great, great thing. Now, before I get into this video, um, I had to say, uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of requests about where I got this hat, where I got this hat. And I'm going to leave the link in the description for you guys so you can go get it yourself. I also ordered two more of these, so I'm going to get those and I'm going to give one as a, a channel membership giveaway and then just a regular channel giveaway. So uh, look for that, but the link will be in the description because I'm getting a lot of requests. Like 25% of my comments are about the hat, so I wanted to let you guys know. Now, now, today... Jalen Rager signed a contract early. We were all happy about it. And, and we all thought, hey, you know what? They're probably going to get a few more guys in, uh, at least by the end of today. They're probably working real hard. Well, guess what? They didn't just get a few more guys. They got the whole draft class. I'm ready to go. Let's play some ball, man. The whole draft class is signed. It's signed. And this is, this is important. For any team, for the Eagles especially, with no rookie minicamps, with no OTAs, with no regular minicamps, with none of that, you got to have these guys in as soon as possible. You need them in on day one because if you don't have them, they're already playing from behind. It's going to hurt you. But the Eagles, they've signed their whole draft class. It's done. Now, I don't know the details of all the contracts. I do know Kavon Wallace signed a four-year, $4 million contract, and he was getting like a $730,000 signing bonus. So that was the only one I heard details about. Uh, all of them are pretty structured. Uh, you know, there's, there's the whole draft cap thing now. So whatever. All I know, our class is ready to go. The Eagles are ready to go. See, and, and this is one of the great big advantages the Eagles have going in this season over the NFC East. This is one of the great advantages. Uh, you have your coaching staff been with you a while. You have your front office that has a way to work, and they do things a certain way, and they know what to do. You have your veterans, for the most part, have been with this organization for a while. Now, the Eagles got all their rookies signed. So, yes, the rookies in general across the league are playing from behind. But on day one, all the Eagles rookies will be at camp. How many other teams, especially the NFC East, can we say all the rookies will be signed day one? I don't think so. Those teams are playing from behind. Brand new coaches, brand new staffs, a lot of things that they just don't know. The Eagles got to get up, out to a good start. If they get out to a good start, they're going to run away with this division, baby. They're going to run away with it. And having the rookies in now is going to be huge. Guys like Kevon Wallace, guys like um, you know Jalen Rager, those guys, to me, are going to have to contribute very early in the season. And I think they will. I think the Eagles will use them a certain way. I'm, oh, dude, I'm telling you, I'm feeling so jacked up because it's almost football season. Like, I'm just so ready. I'm just so ready. It's unbelievable, man. But, uh, yeah, everybody is signed. We are good to go. We are ready for camp. Let's get it going. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting season, especially uh, with attendance and things like that and how they're going to do it. Um, because I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard the governor of New Jersey just put out an executive order today banning all all attend all people from going to Jets Giants games. You can no longer go to a Jets or Giants game this year, at least until further notice. That's what they said. Now, it's like a month, month and a half away uh, before the start of the season. So uh, maybe by that time they'll change it. But you know, in, in certain areas, you're going to have 
fans at attendance. You're going to have 25% capacity, maybe 30% capacity, maybe 15% capacity. Other places, you're going to have zero. And really, truthfully, it's not really fair. It's not fair for the Jets and the Giants that they have zero fans in attendance while other teams will get it. And I highly doubt that the league is going to say, hey, let's keep it fair, no attendance for any teams because the Jets and the Giants couldn't have anybody. They're not going to do it because any stadium that can take, whether it's 15%, 25% attendance, they're going to do it. They're going to want to make their money. They're going to have people come to the stadium. So it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. But I expect the teams that have fans in attendance to have a big advantage over teams like the Jets and the Giants, who stink anyways, by the way, but they won't have any fans in attendance. Uh, As far as the Eagles, we know last week there was a lot of talk about the Eagles not having fans in attendance. The city of Philly kind of walked that back. Uh, They're working closely with the Eagles now. And I'm I'm guessing at the end of the day, it's going to be like 15 to 25% capacity. But if you want to be fair, if we're really being fair, you can't, you can't have some teams have, you know, attendance and other teams have zero. I don't think it's fair, but I don't think the league cares. They want to make their money where they can and they're going to, you know, so it's going to be interesting, but Jets and Giants, they're screwed, at least until further notice. Now, I guess that means that the governor can change his mind and, uh, you know, and say, okay, you know what, it's October, now you can start having fans, so maybe it won't be for the whole season, but maybe to start the season, they'll have zero, uh, zero people in attendance, who the hell knows? All I know is that either way, let them play football. Let them play football. Let there be football, mother humpers. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Don't be a dingbat.